In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fill out an application for student accommodation in Finland. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel, we talk about education and early career development, specifically here in Finland. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing. Before we jump into today's topic, let me thank Hoas for sponsoring this video. Hoas, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is one of the largest providers for student accommodation in the Helsinki metropolitan area. I've been living in their apartments throughout my studies and I cannot recommend them enough. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, there are a huge amount of great organizations providing students accommodation around the country. A large portion of student apartments in Finland are actually operated either by student union themselves or other organizations founded by them. And today we are looking at the application form specifically from HOAS. HOAS is a non-profit foundation founded by the largest student unions in Helsinki, and they have a huge amount of affordable apartments that are nicely located around the capital region. Yes, they're also the sponsor of this video, but their application form is actually very similar to the ones used by other providers. So this is going to work as a great example. All right, so when you are jumping to the browser, uh, look for www.hoas.fi forward slash en. And on the front page, make sure that you have the language in English. From the right side of the window, you can also look at the different apartments around the Helsinki metropolitan area, but we will not do that right now. If you go down on the page, you find the housing application form, simply click apply and you will get to the form itself. So the application form in itself is actually pretty simple. It is just one page, but before you start filling it out, make sure you, that you have the following documents and information ready and at hand. First of all, you need either your passport, your Finnish identity code or your European Union identity card. Second, you need to have the dates for the start of your studies and the estimated graduation date. Third, you need some personal financial information like your income, your estimated assets and your current student loans. When you have all of this information, we can start filling out the form itself. First things that we have to fill in are the information about our degree. If you are studying a bachelor's or a master's degree, then select basic degree. If you are doing your doctorate, then that would be postgraduate degree. Next, select the school that you have been admitted to. In my case, that would be Aalto University School of Business in Espoo, Espoo being the city. The start date of the studies, this is an estimate, so it doesn't have to be absolutely exact. Usually the first day of studies is the 1st of September. Also the estimated graduation date, if we're talking about a master's degree, which is a two year degree, that would mean that you graduate on the 31st of July, 2022. So the graduation date usually is on the last day of July. There you go. Next, you can fill out any preferred areas. My suggestion would be that you leave these out. That will make uh, it easier for you to actually get an apartment. Some of the areas are more sought after and they have more applicants. Just to make sure I would actually leave this empty. I would select any area will do. Next, we have the apartment information. The date that you need the tenancy agreement to start at the earliest is important to know, not only because of the application, but also for, for example, when you're buying your plane tickets. So my recommendation is that you move into Finland at least a couple of weeks before the orientation week starts, which in my estimate would be somewhere around August 2020. In this case, you can only apply four months before you need to move in. I cannot apply for August, so that would be then July. If you already have an apartment in your home country and your tenant agreement there is cancelled only after the semester in Finland begins, then you should check the box, I am prepared to pay double rent, meaning that you would have two te tenant agreements going on at the same time, at least for a while. Also, you can apply for a student apartment on your own with a fellow student 
or with a spouse. Especially if you're applying together with a spouse, that is important to know because HOAS, for example, has specifically family apartments that you can apply to only with a spouse. In this case, I would be applying on my own. If you have a child, make sure to check, check the box. Special requirements if you, for example, need handicapped entrances or, or an apartment that is specifically designed so that a handicapped person can live there, make sure to check those boxes as well. The same if you have a pet, then make sure to check the box as well. Next we have the apartment type. With HOAS you actually have a bit more apartment types than for example with a couple of other apartment providers in the Helsinki region. Room in a shared apartment is actually a very nice way of living in Finland, especially if you're doing your ex only your exchange here. It's very social and I highly recommend it. A roomy apartment is specifically de designed for people who are applying with a fellow student or a friend. In roomy apartments you can specifically impact on the person who is going to be your roommate. Two room apartment for one person. As I've mentioned in the previous videos about student housing costs in Finland, two room apartments for one person are way more expensive than for example a room in a shared apartment, so take that into account. Studio apartments are the most sought after apartments in Finland. Compared to the other apartment types, they're way more expensive. Studio with a shared kitchen, furnished studio with a shared kitchen, especially nice for exchange students if you don't want to buy furniture when you're moving in. And then studio with a mini kitchen. So a lot of really cool options. I recommend that you go and browse the different apartment types. Hoas has a lot of really good pictures of the apartments. So that will give you a good idea of uh, what you're buying into. Next, fill out the maximum rent that you can pay per month. The more you are able to pay, the more likely you will be able to get an apartment, but make sure that it is actually within your budget. You can also set the minimum floor area. In this case, I would not be setting this because it is really difficult to say what is a good size an apartment for that specific price range that you're looking for. Next up, we would be filling out our personal information for the application, your family name, first name, and your nationality. This is important to change first in the form because this will also change the identity code options that you have, especially if you don't have your personal identity code yet. Make sure to change this to, for, ex for example, the United States, in which case you will be asked whether you have your social security number already at hand. If you have seen my video about the things to do after you've been admitted to study in Finland, you would know that you will get your social security number either when your residence permit is granted or you are registered as a EU citizen in Finland. If you don't have your social security number yet, you can either fill in your passport number or your European Union identity card number. Next up, select their gender, your service of language, if you want to be served in Finnish or English, in this case, most likely in English, and your current type of housing. The important thing to know is, is that if you're for some reason already living in a Hoas apartment, you're not as likely to get a second apartment for your studies, rather you should stick with the one that you already have. Next up, we would be filling out the reason for applying for housing. If we are coming to Finland to study, then we would be choosing to study. Next up, this is very important. You have to fill out your personal financial information. The first box, which is your monthly income in euros. The reason why HOAS and other providers are asking for this is that they usually prioritize people who have lower assets or lower levels of income. Again, because student apartments are cheaper than apartments from the private market. In this case, you should be stating an estimate of your monthly income during your studies. HOAS also states that it is not necessar necessary to give out information on income that you receive at the time of application, but that ends when the studies begin. Study grants, housing supplements and income support do not count as income, but adult study grants and adult education support do count as income. So for example, I would be filling in, for example, a thousand euros a month. Next is assets. The reasoning here is the same. HOAS usually prioritizes students who have lower assets. If you, for example, own multiple flats in your own country and you have a huge stock portfolio, it is less likely that you would be, be prioritized over people who have lower income than you. You should be stating the assets at the time of application. In this case, assets mean, for example, units in a housing company, real estate, fund securities, and forest ownership. 
assets do not mean income savings on a bank account or a car. Again, the assets are being considered when making comparisons between applicants. For example, if I had a stock portfolio of 10,000 euros, but no other assets, then in that case, I would be stating 10,000 euros of my assets. Student loans or your current student loans is also very important to state because the total sum of debts will be subtracted from your current market value of your assets. So if you have a huge amount of student loan already, make sure to inform HOAS about it because that will have an impact on your application. Next up, fill in your current address and contact details. Should be simple enough. And if you have children, make sure to fill out their information as well. That's basically it. You can also give out some comments or additional information about your personal needs. But do keep in mind that asking, for example, for exceptions in this written comment section will not help you get an apartment easier. HOAS has their own rules for comparing different applicants and they will have the final say in the decisions. After you have filled out the form, just check all the boxes, make sure you're not a robot and then send your application. And that is basically it. After you have submitted your application, do take into account that one application is valid three months at a time. So remember to go and update your application from hoas.fi using the specific application update form, which can also be found here on the front page. Also good to know that HOAS does not use a queue number system for housing applications, but rather when prioritizing application, they take into account the urgency uh, of the need for an apartment, the applicant's assets and financial situation, as well as the time in the queue. You can find more information on waiting times through the links that I have in the description box below. As I mentioned before, even though this was specifically the application form for HOAS apartments, this form is actually pretty similar to the, the ones from all the other organizations around Finland. And you will need the same information for basically any student apartment application. All right, that is all for this video. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who might also be applying for student accommodation in Finland. Also, if you have anything to ask about this or any other topic related to studying or building your early career here in Finland, write them down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.